versus Chaba Sabulozi. Aluli Melisi Mbangara Eliona Dia Shilati. Ikalu Chimbula Mabulozi, Ikalu Tseza Zoropini Etuna. Amu Oneri Na Hazemu, Mwabali Masi Mbangara Mwabali Fumezi. Luli Melisi Mbangara Mwabulozi Ima. Luli Melisi Mbangara Mwabulozi Tate. Mbangala mwabulu zima Lujalezi mbangala mwabulu zikate The Zambian government has put Western Province on the map through the implementation of Kasho Infrastructure Development Project. The government of the day has placed agriculture as one of the key priority sector of the economic growth and poverty reduction. The CIDP is implemented by the Ministry of Agriculture in the 10th district of Western Province. The ministry has achieved a lot in infrastructure since the genesis of the project. The Kashu Infrastructure Development Project, uh, so far we have actually achieved quite a, a number of milestones, uh, especially in the terms of infrastructure. You know, we are, we are doing some roads that were leading to major cash centers. We have also done the farmer training centers in terms of rehabilitating the, the infrastructure that is there, dormitories, classrooms, rehabilitation of the houses, and also the, our main center of excellence, which is Mumbe, where, most, where the, the cash research will be actually centered. Uh, the, the aim of that centre is actually, we are calling it the Centre of Excellency in the sense that you would want that, that place to be maybe the best, one of the best actually in Africa in terms of research in, 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 in Kashu. So far we have, we have done the, the laboratory there, the laboratory is, is actually complete, uh, the, 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 the equipment for the labs is actually has been procured. It's actually we are just trying to install it now. Uh, the houses are done at the centre in Simulombe. Uh, officers have begun to move into the into the into the houses in Simulombe. Just prepare. We have also done the the, the, the shed nets at Simulombe, just to ensure that our our, our, our research uh, begins in earnest to actually take place there. And then talking about the, the other FTCs, uh, FTI, uh, Farmer Training in uh, Namushake the Farm Institute, we have also done a lot of rehabilitation there in terms of uh, the houses, we have done the classrooms. So we also expect we have to have a lot of activity there. We are, we are, we are also doing some, we want to put in some, net, some shade nets there, that's for sure that the, the process of grafting and raising uh, nurseries is actually now fully achieved. We have done the same with the Calabo, Calabo FTC. Most of, the, most of the projects, in fact, this time, in these FTCs have actually even been handed over to, 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 to the users, which is the Ministry of Agriculture. So essentially, we are actually ready now to move full, full throttle. We are actually making sure that we, we do the, what, what, what is required. We are talking about the Proto Gardens. Uh, the Proto Gardens, I think if we check in with Simulombe, uh, we have cleared more than 100 hectares of, 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 of land. We, we hope to have a very big plot of garden there. And so what, what, what it is now, we, we are... In each of the FTCs, language inclusive, we are, we, are, we are setting up 10 hectares of the plot of gardens. And, we, and, and Zari is actually very busy now, uh, trying to ensure that the, the, those gardens actually plant the cash that is required. The government is focusing on being among the top cash producing and exporting countries in Africa and indeed worldwide. Therefore, cash farmers should focus on the key issues of planting good quality seeds, planting right seedlings and good management to score a high yield. Whatever we are going to select here will be more suitable to the cash industry than any other material that they have been produced in other countries. Why? Because what we are going to give our farmers now is an improved planting material with the required nut quality that addresses the issue of the international market. Cashew can grow in any part of the Zambia because with the, the, the climate change now, 
Cashew remains the only crop that is suitable to combat the global warming. You could have known, for example, this year, there was a failure of maize in many places in the country, particularly in the western province, but cashew is going to produce. So, to me, I will consider cashew not only as a tree and tree crop, but we should consider cashew as a crop that is going to sustain our environment and yet it is going to give 